Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talk some more. So two things I want to talk about in this video. One is the Grant Shapps announcement or him talking on BBC Radio 4 this morning. But I also want to talk about France and their spirited fight back against these tyrannical worldwide policies that are being brought in and how everyone should follow their lead. So here we see today this drone, this Grant Shapps, another off the production line of so-called politicians, a puppet, a personality-free vacuum. This entity was speaking on the propaganda BBC Radio 4. And again, as we have become well used to, he hinted at something, hinted that jabs and jab passports and that they will be in place forevermore in order to travel between countries. Of course, there is no policy that has been introduced, but he is saying that there will be. He said, it's a reality that in this new world, I think double vaccination or full vaccination is going to be a feature forevermore and probably all countries will require full jabs for you to enter. So it's no surprise to me or to the regulars of this channel, but still, forever is a mighty long time. Somehow these politicians know what the future holds, that this will be around forever. Basically, he's telling you that unless you sign up to injections, boosters, for the rest of your life, you will never leave your country again. I mean, that is some bold statement to make. And it, and it saddens me greatly that this person from a party, a political party that was elected by the public in a supposed democratic society and is supposedly working for the public, okay, and he is going on a BBC Radio 4 show and saying this and making a bold threat, a statement that says, if you don't do this, you're going to be imprisoned within your country forever. And this only gets a minimal backlash this morning on social media. The silence of the normies is just... Oh, I don't know what to say. I, I don't really know what to say. And it saddens me greatly that the UK's neighbours, Ireland, have allowed these passport rules to stop people going to pubs and restaurants and so forth. And I'm sure they will follow suit and do the same thing as well with in regards to travelling overseas. And yet, over the channel in France, they are really pushing back. There is a talk of a month-long national strike. I was sent an email this morning that is being sent all around France about the policies and how they are going to stand united against it. So I'll read, I'll read some of this out to you, give you an idea of the sense of feeling over there. Uh, and maybe, hopefully, you know, it will inspire someone somewhere. I don't know. It says here, Dear Sir, Madam, everywhere resistance is rising. Restaurant owners, cafe owners, Bistro owners are making it known by the thousands that they will not check the health passport. Railway workers are on the same line. Firemen, nurses are going on strike everywhere in the country. French people who share the same values are boycotting all places and events subject to the health pass. The aim to incite these establishments to turn against the government to force it to scrap its law of shame as soon as possible. At the same time, the demonstrations are becoming more and more numerous. Even if the authorities and their media allies try to minimize the scope of the demonstrations, there are millions of free men and women in the towns and cities of France this summer committed to defending the most beautiful values of the French. Soul, freedom, equal rights, dignity, and the sovereignty of the people. The refusal of an inhuman society at the service of a small predatory oligarchy. In this regard, the Patriots are holding their 38th consecutive week of mobilization and resistance this Saturday, August the 7th, in a couple of days' time. It continues, let us never fall into the trap of division including between the vaccinated and the unvaccinated, because that is the deepest wish of the globalist oligarchy. 
We will need a united France to take up tomorrow's most urgent challenges, to reindustrialize our country, to rediscover a sense of public service, to ensure justice, protection and prosperity for all, to magnify our culture, our arts, our language, to support our creators who make up the genius of France and to allow our country to carry a unique voice in the world. History shows that it is always foolish to give up. The patriots are there, solid, more and more numerous since the beginning of this whole affair, and they will not give up. So look, yeah, that, that's just a, a segment of this letter that's going around France. So we need more of that spirit. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded souls who don't follow the herd and who don't follow the fake stream media.